a system error, so you will be speaking from the dispatch. Madam Speaker, I've been, I've been looking for the definition of incompetence and the definition of gross misconduct under Article 181. Mr. Speaker, all those definitions of incompetence, misconduct, abuse of office are synonymous with Governor Wycliffe and Betsa Opare. That's a new definition of incompetence, misconduct, and abuse of office. Madam Speaker, I'm telling Governor Kibwana, if you shut down level four water and Sudan Amud Hospital and Makindu level three hospital, pursuant to a memo issued by Wycliffe and Betsa Oparanya, we will impeach you. It's an impeachable offense for a governor to receive a memo from another governor and shut down a hospital. <laughs> if any person, ma Mama Muikali, Mama Mudeu, go to water level four to deliver a baby and you find it shut down and something happens to that baby, we will hold Governor Gibwana responsible. It's a fact. Mrs. Madam Speaker, so there's something about Governor Oparanya that makes the rest of the other Council of Governors chair look good. The incompetence is unbelievable. Madam Speaker, the, and I, you, we must all ask, yesterday, the same governor was in a meeting with the head of state, but it's even worse. We were in a meeting with the minister in charge of finance with all the governors. Whereupon it was agreed that the Supreme Court opinion is not an advisory opinion but an order. I'm going to suggest the following, Madam Speaker. Other than Wycliffe Ambeza Oparanya, the person of the cabinet secretary in charge of treasury must be discussed in the floor of this Senate. We do not have power to censure, but we must censure. Because that is the person, Madam Speaker, who is acting in cohorts with Governor Wycliffe Ambeza of Paranya in an attempt to coerce us to move a formula the way they want. It will not happen. It is not going to happen. You are not going to force us. You are not going to jail us. You are not going to arrest us, even if we send you a pin. <laughs> <laughs> Madam Speaker, if any hospital shuts down tomorrow, we must suspend all our business and discuss the conduct of Wycliffe and Betsa Oparanya and the cabinet secretary in charge of finance. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Thank you, Senator. Senator Mwinyi Haji Mohamed. Senator Faki. Ah, Sante, Mr. Speaker. I Kwa kunipa fursa hii, kuchangia tarifa ambayo meleto bungeni na Senator Bungoma, Senator Wetangula. Mwishima Speaker, kuku aliva, alivishwa kilemba. Watu wakamona kama jogoo. 